everyone, Jennifer here. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about my hair recently. I did um, the New Year's video and so many people said, can you please do a tutorial for the curls that you had in your hair for that video? So um, this is the finished look and I'm going to show you how I achieved this look right now. Okay, I'm going to start out by brushing my hair and here I'm using my Mason Pearson Boar Bristle Hairbrush, which I absolutely love. It's an investment um, piece. It is an expensive brush, but I find that these bristles make my hair so soft and smooth. So I'm going to brush my hair and then I'm going to section it off. And as you can see, I'm taking the top front half and securing it. Then I'm going to get a large barrel curling iron and start from the back. So I take the very back section and I take the curling iron and I curl my hair away from my face. And I let it hold for about um, 15 seconds. This is sped up obviously. And then I take the curling iron and I do the next curl toward my face. So the idea here is that I'm going to be alternating the curls as I go around my head. I'm just going to focus on one side. So I'm going to take the hair down that I put up and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to brush the hair and then I'm going to curl the hair away from the face and let it hold. And then the next piece I'm going to go toward the face. So as you can see, I'm alternating here and hold it for as long as you need to hold the curl, obviously not too long. And this last piece of hair in the front, I'm going to go toward my face. Um, this is an important aspect because as you'll see as we get to the other side, the front piece will go away from the face and it just adds a nice um, movement to the hair. So on the other side, here we go. I'm, I'm going away and I'm holding it. And then I am doing the curl the other way, going toward the face. Now it's important before you do this to use a heat protectant. I forgot to mention that. I've already applied mine here. Now I'm going to take down this part and keep going. So following the same pattern, away from the face and toward the face. So some of you have asked if I color my hair and I actually don't color my hair. This is my natural color so I just wanted to set the record straight with that. And on this last part here, as you can see, the hair is going away from the face. So the two front pieces are going in different directions. And this is what gives it that modern, old Hollywood look. Now you can run your fingers through your hair and set with hairspray if you like. So here we go. I just really like this look because it's not the standard wave look. It has a bit more body in it because the curls are going in different directions. It's sort of a new twist on an old Hollywood look. But I also quickly wanted to share with you what hair care products I've been using on my hair lately. I really like the Pureology line. They are 100% vegan, they're sulfate free, and these are the super smooth shampoo and conditioner. I really like them. Um, they're good, you know, for the environment. It's a very conscious brand, Pureology, and they make great hair care. This is the Super Smooth Relaxing Hair Mask, and I use that too. Probably once a week, I just put it on for about two to five minutes and let it sit and then wash it out. So I really like Pureology. This brand, Maison, okay, this brand is awesome. They actually sent me um, some of their skincare. They have steamers for your face that are made out of herbs and essential oils and it's like tea for your face and so I've, I actually think that product is pretty awesome. But they sent me this, I didn't request this, they just sent it to me and it's um, Pure Argon Oil and Mint Hydrating Conditioner by Maison and the shampoo. And I have to say these shampoos are so nice so nice. I'm really glad they sent them because I never would have discovered them otherwise. They are sulfate and paraben free and they have 100% vegan ingredients. And I just think that they're fantastic. 
They're made with pure argan oil, grapeseed oil, and they're infused with mint. And after you put it on, especially the shampoo, your scalp starts to tingle, and I really like that. It feels like you're getting really clean. I love the oils they use, and they're very hydrating. So you all have been asking about the health of my hair, and I think this is a big part of it. They're almost empty because I've been using them so much. So this is by Meijan. And check out the blog this week because Meijan have offered to give away one shampoo and one conditioner um, to a reader of The Daily Connoisseur, which is really cool. So thank you to Meijan for that. For styling, I have been using, before I blow dry, um, the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. And what it does is it locks in your style longer. So I got this at Sephora. It's a hair primer, basically. And I don't know if this is a heat protectant. And because I don't know that, I also use it with this Purology Color Stylist. This is called the Anti-Split Blow-Dry Cream. And I like this. This is a heat protectant, and it's a cream that I apply before I blow dry um, my hair, and it lasts. Purology also have a spray, and I'm not sure what it's called. If I find out by the time I do this video, I'll write it on the video right now. <laughs> And um, the spray is so awesome because it really lasts and you don't have to keep applying the heat protectant if like let's say the next day you use the curling iron or a few hours later the flat iron. And it really is fantastic. I run out of it so I need to get some more. But that is what I have been using on my hair. I hope that you enjoyed this video. My Mason Pearson brush I absolutely love. It's pricey. Yes, it's expensive. It's an investment piece. Um, but it, it makes my hair so smooth, I can't even describe it. It's fantastic. So I think it's worth it. One day I might do a video of when I first wake up, one side of my head being brushed with the Mason Pearson brush and the other side with just a run-of-the-mill regular drugstore brush so you can see the difference. But until then, um, this is it for today. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.